So today there's 765 new cases. Uh, that makes 2,147 active cases currently. And I can confirm that 151 of our total active cases uh, have been confirmed as Omicron. Uh, we have now 566 people being cared for in the home under our new COVID care in the home model and others being assessed as we speak uh, to move them into home care. Uh, we have five people in hospital who are needing to be cared for because of COVID. Of course, we have other COVID positive patients in hospital, but are being cared for in hospital for other reasons, including other health conditions. The wonderful news I can report, and I just received this driving here this morning, is that the person who was in ICU has just been moved out. So we have no people in ICU now with COVID, which is just wonderful news and a great Christmas present to know that person is getting better. Uh, we did 33,971 tests in the last 24 hours. So thank you, Queenslanders, for continuing to come out and get tested. And uh, we have... Uh, now hit 90.36% uh, first doses and 85.88% second doses. So we are getting close to that 90% double vaccination rate. And of course, if you are eligible for your booster, please come forward. There are many, many community pharmacies open. We have GPs over the Christmas period and of course vaccination centres. So continue to come out and get your booster shots and also your first and second jabs if you haven't already. Um, we only have 650 uh, people who are formally in quarantine, which is in fact much smaller than we've had in the past, and that shows the changes around the rule of casual versus close contact. Uh, but we thank those 650 people who are in quarantine, uh, who are probably missing time with family and friends today. Uh, we know it's difficult, but we are so grateful uh, for what you are doing. And I just want to reinforce all those people interstate who have done the right thing and got their PCR tests. Late yesterday afternoon, I was told of just one story. Three young people coming up to be with families in Queensland on Christmas Day. They were all due to arrive last night on Christmas Eve, but were waiting for their PCR test. Two of those three have tested positive uh, and they're awaiting the results of the third. Now, at least one of these young people were going to be joining a big family gathering today of 25 to 30 family members. At least one of those family members is over the age of 90 and another one is a newborn baby only days old. Those family members have been protected from having a positive case gathering with them because of that PCR test and those young people doing the right thing and waiting for those results before they sought to travel. So I thank them. I know that they're missing out um, on time with family today, uh, but that has kept those very vulnerable people and that whole family gathering today safer. So I am so grateful and I just want to say thank you to them. We have 22 LGAs reported today uh, with those positive cases. I won't go through the whole list, but we will uh, put out a release with all of those. But I can announce that Cook and South Burnett are new LGAs to that list. Uh, we do have local government areas all across this state now. When I look at the Cassowary Coast and Central Highlands, Cook, Douglas Shire, down to the Gold Coast, Brisbane, of course, Whit Sunday, Sunshine Coast, Toowoomba, Townsville, Scenic Rim. This virus is everywhere now, and we have to assume that anywhere we go, we could be exposed. So remember your masks. Remember when you're gathering with loved ones today. Yeah, just be careful. Of course, you're going to want to hug loved ones, uh, but just be careful of your surroundings. You know, good hygiene, uh, masks uh, where you are, particularly around really vulnerable people. Um, we're so grateful for the hard work everyone's done. I know I put out a Christmas message for everyone yesterday, all of our health workers, our police, our fire and emergency, all of our frontline workers, all of the retail workers and hospitality workers who will be working today and those who are putting on lunches and dinners uh, feeding people brekkie now, I say thank you. I know it's hard because you're working on Christmas Day. We're very grateful for your work. And remember, to show respect to all of these people who are working today and giving up time with family and friends. And my last thank you uh, goes to our Auslan interpreters. And Mikey, thank you. Uh, you've been amazing all year. I know he's an absolute hero wherever we go. Everyone wants photos with Mikey.
Uh, and uh, we have to do it one more time, Mikey, because I saw the social media feed. What is a spider and a huntsman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I don't have one on me today. So Merry Christmas everyone. Uh, stay safe. Please just remember your masks, social distancing, good hygiene, all the things we've been doing for two years. It'll help keep us safe and slow down the spread of this virus. Again, thank you to our health workers who are doing such an incredible job and I know have a big 2022 coming up. Um, I'm so grateful for the amazing work they've been doing.